Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing custom ROM for our POCO X3 Pro and this is the Havoc OS official latest build and it is based on Android 13 and its Havoc OS version is 6.0 as you can see here. The security patch of this ROM is uh, still latest 5 August 2023. Vendor security patch is 1st July 2022. I don't know why this is too old but this is our official ROM and it works pretty much buttery smooth there is no any single bug or issue in this rom so in this video i will be going to show you full review and its geekbench results and i will also tell you how you can install it out on your poco x3 pro so without any further ado let's get started before starting the video make sure to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for the future updates so the Havoc OS for our POCO X3 Pro is pretty much stable and there is no any single bug or issue in this rom everything is just working fine and uh, everything single application is just uh, optimized and as you can see here the app opening speed is also good the animations are also played very well and if we talk about the camera here we have this simple camera you can simply take pictures uh, record videos and scan the documents and if you want fully working modded gcam then you can download it from the link in the description and uh, after it i had a geekbench test on it and but it is not available i have to run it again so the geekbench results shows uh, this score it just scored 1016 on single core and it scored 2629 on multi core these scores are pretty much impressive isn't it it just scored uh, more than the MIUI 14 let's go to the settings and have a look on what we get in the customizations before going to settings have a look on the applications we don't get a lot of uh, junky applications or bloatware first of all here we have the search right here so you can search the web and all other things then we have uh, installed applications and uh, from the left you can access the google now and from the home screen settings you can make changes and uh, we don't get a lot of app, uh, options or customizations in the launcher because this is the pixel launcher then we have widgets you can add widgets to your home screen to make it look beautiful then you can change the wallpaper and style from more wallpapers you can get a lot of wallpapers and uh, here we have the google wallpaper application pre-installed you can use a lot of wallpaper style any from these and this one it is looking pretty much classy click on set wallpaper home and lock screen and wow it just looks pretty much good by the way you can also pick the colors uh, manually right from here and you can also enable the themed icons and you can change the app grid right from here now let's go to the settings and the quick settings looks like this typical android 13 and uh, first of all here we have uh, the connectivity options apps notification battery the battery backup of this rom is pretty much good and uh, it's just awesome here we have thermal profiles battery usage then we have battery saver adaptive preference battery light and uh, battery widgets so here we also have the battery saver and from here you can enable the extreme battery saver and you can also use the smart pixels to reduce the pixels from the screen and it's gonna reduce the power consumption so after it here we have storage sound and vibration and in the sound and vibration here we have direct sound enhancer which will be helpful to enhance the sounding quality and we also have the hi-fi right here then we have the clear speaker and all other default settings then we have display in the display we have all typical options and here we have the monitor personalizations and then we have dark theme you can adjust the display and text size then we have night light live display you can change the colors right from here then you can also enable the smooth display it automatically raises the refresh rate from 60 to 120 hertz for some content like scrolling on uh, social media or while playing games and you can also enable force peak refresh rate uh, it will always give you the highest refresh rate so i recommend you to use the smooth display only then we have display cutout, tap to wake, tap to sleep, ambient display is also available and uh, raise to wake is also available, let's see if it works, it is not working. After it here we have wallpaper and style, accessibility, security, now in the security option every security option is working and the security of this ROM is pretty much tight because we have the latest security patch in this ROM, fingerprint is just working, let me show you, as you can see here, it is pretty much quick, face unlock is also working. As you can see here it is just unlocking the device quickly i am using the face unlock right now and you can also use the on screen locks as well then we have privacy location safety emergency and uh, digital well-being google system we don't see any customizations of sim right till now here we don't have a lot of customizations 
then we have system here we have languages and input button settings from here you can manage the uh, power button and the volume rocker button settings you can also enable the advanced restart then we have system profile status bar from here you can ma make changes in the status bar settings like you can enable the network indicator you can manage system icons and uh, battery style battery percentage and uh, brightness slider then we have gestures right here here we have quick tap to start action you just need to tap on the back for twice and it will perform the selected task and then we have quickly open camera system navigation bar one handed mode you can operate the whole screen by using only one hand then we have uh, press and hold power button swipe three fingers to screenshot then we have quick torch playback control and prevent ringing then we have misc in the misc we have unlimited storage photo storage and by the way you can also do gaming on it but we don't have any option to unlock the higher fps in this rom and if you want uh, the higher fps in games option then you should go with the c android instead of going this one here we have date and time backup system updates and because this is an official build you can see uh, the system updates right into these options whenever the update is available then we have rules multiple user reset option and at the end here we have a about phone section and here we have the have OS 6.0 android version is 13 security patches all the way latest 5 august 2023 and the rom is pretty much stable there is no any single bug or issue so in this rom you can use it as your daily driver you can also do a gaming on it and uh, this rom is just a peace of mind and if you want to install this rom on your poco s3 pro then the download link of this rom is in the description box just download the rom from the link in the description and you can follow the on screen instructions to install it out without having errors so this was the video for today i hope you guys like this video so if you want to install the fully working gcam mode on your poco x3 pro then the download link of gcam is in the description go and install it out and uh, this was the video for today. I hope you guys like this video. If you really did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also, press the bell icon for the future updates. Keep supporting. Thanks for watching. Peace.